Proteins, or albumins, are the building blocks of life. They constitute the cells of all living organisms. As a result, protein science is noted as one of the most important foundations for biotechnology, biomedicine, and the pharmaceutical industry. The scientists at CIPSM, the Center for Integrated Protein Science in Munich, are engaged in a multitude of research projects in connection with proteins. Our cluster investigates proteins from all different different aspects. So the structure of proteins is extremely important. What is the three-dimensional architecture of these molecules? And how can we inhibit and modulate protein functions? How are proteins transported in the cell? So there's one part of the cell where the protein is manufactured, where the cell is producing the cell, and, uh, the protein, and then the protein moves and has to be transported uh, to the position where it really creates the function. Thomas Carell's areas of research are as much diversified as they are promising. There is, for instance, the possibility of visualizing DNA repair processes. The outcome of this could lead to the development of new medications that could either consist of small molecules or therapeutic proteins. Then the applied aspect is we know all small molecule drugs, drugs that we get in order to treat a headache or more serious diseases, for example, cancer. Now, in modern times, proteins are more and more exploited as drugs. We know these monoclonal antibodies, this is how they are called, and they are currently blockbusters. They make billions of dollars for some pharmaceutical companies. And what they do is they interact with specific surface proteins or surface structures, for example, specifically on cancer cells. And this allows us to kill these cancer cells highly specifically. Another research group at CIPSM is the team of Carl Peter Hopfner. The group is investigating processes that trigger repair mechanisms as well as the monitoring of DNA in cells. So we want to understand how cells um, and organisms battle foreign or damaged nucleic acids such as DNA lesions or viral RNA. And the, our self mechanisms, our defense mechanisms, um, are important to avoid diseases like um, cancer diseases or viral infections. Damaged DNA, as well as its precursor RNA, are the key substances involved in aging processes and in degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease and also in cancer. Stefan Sieber is also working on similar problems. As the head of the junior research group at CIPSM, he is attempting to attack proteins in bacteria in order to combat pathogenic bacteria. Pathogenic bacteria are actually striking back in the last years. There are no more antibiotics currently effective against resistant infectious diseases, resistant bacteria. So our goal is to identify new drugs and new targets in bacteria in order to combat these bad pathogens. Just as a figure, there are more people right now dying as a result of resistant bacteria in the U.S. than in HIV infections, which really demonstrates how bad this problem is. Zebra and his colleagues are working on the elimination of viral instability, for example, the capability of infection. In the case of a successful elimination, the body's own immune defense system will be able to destroy the bacteria so that the patient can recover. In addition to organic chemistry, the researchers at the CIPSM are also investigating the biology of proteins. Professor Kirsten Young and her group have taken a particular interest in the way bacteria both receive and process environmental stimuli. With CIPSM, we were already able to solve the structure of the sensory domain of such a receptor in collaboration with a group of uh, Arne Scher from the Technical University of Munich. But structure is not everything to solve the dynamics of such a protein. We apply the method of spin labeling and detect environmental similar induced conformational changes by detecting alteration in the corresponding EPR spectrum. There are many more important challenges that lie in store for CIPSM in the future. The center has been making intense preparations to see to it. For instance, a kindergarten will be constructed with an eye shot of the laboratories because the productivity of young parents is not to be forsaken. This is particularly intended to foster greater participation of women who are still underrepresented in the sciences. CIPSM has a very excellent gender equality program where we try to support young female scientists in the effort to combine a very successful scientific career with having a family. 
And uh, we support these women, of course, after uh, scientific evaluation of the application in different ways. One thing is that we provide a technician for the lab and uh, we also provide domestic help for those uh, female scientists uh, to support them at home and we also give su a financial support and uh, organize childcare. CIPSM, the Center for Integrated Protein Science in Munich, is an excellent research facility offering many possibilities to participate in designing the future.